So the next step with the last two centers is, of course, these middles. Now, this is done exactly the same way that we talked about with, a f with the 4x4 um, four four supercube. Just imagine these don't exist, and all you're dealing with is these two. Because the algorithm that we're going to do is only going to shuffle potentially these guys around, but not these middles. So I invite you to, to play with it and figure it out, because the algorithm is the same. That's the uh, um, R. By that, I mean the middle R here, like that. So um, it's, it's going to be the uh, R U I L U R I U I L. I think I said L, but I meant L I. Uh, notice that when I did that, it shuffled these around but didn't touch these. So you're completely safe, completely secure, no worries regarding your, your middles. Uh, all right, so the strategy that we had was, remember, we want to get in a position where we're cycling these guys, these three. So my technique with this, well, it's not really my technique, but my general strategy with that technique is to get uh, a bottom here and get a bottom here. So let's see what we can fill in here. Starting off with, uh, with this, see what's up here. If I move this... Um, blue and purple down to the blue and purple here then that's going to be where it needs to be so that's pretty good um, if I move this here this is going to move out which is fine because that's not where it needs to be it's going to move that up here and this is going to move across so I'm just going to start building things like that so we've got R U I L I U R I U I L so it put that there, so I'm, this is really going to be the side that I'm working on. The one that's left is this guy, so I'm going to move this into position where these aren't going to be affected. So right here. And, I'm going to, and this is going to move into here, which is kind of what I want. No, I'm sorry. I'll have to move, I'll have to move it here. Because this will move into here. This is going to end up moving up here, though. Actually, what I'll do instead is this uh, green and red. I'll actually just move that into place over here. That'll move this up here. So I'm just going to start shuffling things around. Apply the algorithm, see what we got. So this is where it needs to be. So what else makes sense? Well, here's the uh, red and blue. Red and blue can go here. If I move this over here, it'll bring this down to here and give me what I want here. This will move up there, but that's okay. We're just going to be working on this, on this part. So this will move down to here. All right. So we've got one little side over here just by knowing, having knowledge of what the strategy is going to do. I'm just going to rotate that here because by doing that, it kind of takes it out of the picture. Now, what can I build up here to give me a little um, five cube um, orientation here? So I've got the uh, red and white. So I'm just going to put that in a place where I know it's going to be moved up here. So it's going to move it up to here. Shuffle this around, but who cares? So we're going to work on this part over here. Alright, so let's see what we got. That moved this into place here. Now I've got more to choose from here, now that this is solved. So even if I mess up my original side, I've still got this to draw on. But I want to start moving this into a position that I want. So purple and white, purple and white. If I move this here, this will be up here and I'll, I'll have what I need here. Hope, hope I showed that well. Okay, do our algorithm. Okay, so that looks pretty nice. That's where it needs to be. Move that down. Look, at, uh, Looking at what we have here, this is where it needs to be. So now I've got two that are isolated. It's just a matter of flip-flopping these guys. Now, it was pretty straightforward on the last tutorial of, of how to deal with this. And you can even just memorize it if you need to. But these two have to flip. What I do to do that is I'm going to move this down. And the strategy is this gets moved down to here. And then we move it across and move it back up so that it can it can be flipped. So let's see what happens. All 
All right. So that brought it down to here. Now I'm going to move this over by one, and it'll move this back up to here. So basically, it flipped that around. Okay. So that got flipped, and this is pretty much almost solved, save for this piece. And this one is uh, flipped around a little bit. So I'm going to put this up to here so it's in the field of action. And the next couple moves, this is going to come down to here, which is not where it needs to be. Then I need to put it over here. So in two moves, this will be where it needs to be. One, two. And in two moves, this will be where it needs to be. One, two. And in two moves, this will be where it needs to be. One, two. So it's just a matter of cycling that down um, uh, twice. So uh, off we go. Okay, so these are here, these are where they need to be. All I'll have to do is move this across here so that this will do the final, the final move around here. Okay, and so these last two centers become solved. So pretty straightforward regarding solving these middle areas here and then solving these areas over here and you've got the two centers. The next is just a matter of filling in these edges and there's really no other tricks to that um, except for how to deal with with parity issues and we'll get into that a little bit but just as a quick review we're going to be filling up these edges here's the green this moves down now I don't want to do it here because I'm going to create parity and it gets a little sticky to deal with so right from the onset down across down here up. If you need further instructions on that, let me know. I assume you know this. Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching this. You'd be watching some excellent tutorials on how to solve a 5x5. Five five. Now, what about parity? Well, you got parity here, and parity here, and parity here. Now, we have strategies to deal with that, but here's the problem with uh, applying those strategies. They rotate the centers. So it's best to not run into this problem if you can. But if you're in a hurry and you want to fill it in and, and, and you saw your opportunity and took it, you can do it, but you have to have an even number of parities because it'll put back what you what you destroyed. So one, two, three. Eh, I thought I saw one, but anyway. So let's say we we fix this parity, and that's what we that's what I call the Red Bull um, algorithm. That's how I remember it, Red Bull. So you start off with R B U L. Get it, Red Bull and then just finish it off up ri up ri up to uh, that's u2 rather then um 2f r 2f li b 2b rather and 2 ri so i might have said it a little wrong but but that's okay so anyway yeah we got this fantastic but look at what we did here just look at what you did you you rotated this all around but that's okay because if we move this up and do the same algorithm it should rotate it back so r b u l up r i up r up f r f l i b R, this is fixed, and now this is fixed. So you can see that if you have that situation, you have to have an even number. So something like this is a problem, but we've got this here. So I'm going to move this down here, and same thing. We'll make short work of this. R, B, U, L, up, R, up, R, up, F, R, F, Y, B, R, that's fixed. That's rotated in very strange and mysterious ways. Put this over here. U L up up F R F I B R maniac. So there. That's so. That's all fixed. So now it's just a matter of putting the sides in. But all our sides and all our centers are where they need to be.